Hi. About 40 years or so ago, I worked in Uganda with the church for a few years. And in the church there, it was quite common in a Sunday morning to tell the congregation some stories. And there was a really, really famous set of stories called The Jungle Doctor that would have spread the whole way through East Africa. So I'm going to tell you one tonight. And it's about one of the favourite animals in Africa, that's the monkey. Now, the monkeys are very tricky people. They're people who like to think that they can deal with their own situations. Anytime they get into trouble, they get themselves out of it and they really don't need anybody. So one day, these three very cheeky monkeys were out for a walk and they were daring one another to do things, swinging trees as monkeys do. And suddenly they come up to this, uh, well, it looked like a pool of water. And one of the monkeys dared the other one to go in and see if he could swim. Well, not to be daunted at his friend's jibes, monkey went into the pool and suddenly realized when it was too late, it was actually a swamp and he started to sink and soon he was down to his monkey knees and then he was down to his monkey thighs and his tail was covered and very soon there was very little left so he said to his friend help help me what can you do to help and his friend said well I can't reach you uh, maybe you should help yourself and the, the monkey said to his friend what should I do and his friend said take one hand and put it on this ear and take the other hand and put it on that ear and when I count three pull yourself out so the monkey did as his friend suggested and his friend went one two three and of course all that the monkey got was sore ears. So they were in a predicament. They didn't know what to do. He got himself into the mess and his own strength he couldn't get himself out. Then his friend had an idea and over at the other side of the pool he saw the tallest animal in the jungle, the giraffe. So he called the giraffe over and he told the giraffe of the predicament and he said do you think you could help us and the giraffe said absolutely. So the giraffe solid on the piece of ground at the side of the pool tipped his neck over until his face was right at the face of the monkeys, stretching over the water and the swamp. And he said to the monkey, do you want to help? And the monkey said, well, yep. So the giraffe said, do you trust me? And the monkey had to think for a minute, remembered his sore ears and said, well, yeah. So the giraffe said, throw your arms around my neck. So the monkey did and his friend once again counted one, two, three, and all of a sudden the giraffe pulled him the monkey came out of the swamp and the giraffe swung him through the trees and set him down on dry earth once again and he was safe. Now obviously there's a very straightforward moral of that story which is that the Bible says that we were sinking in sin and we weren't pulling our own ears but we were trying to get ourselves out of the mess and Jesus came in from the outside. He stretched in and all we had to do was trust him and he took us out. But it also has applications for us as a church and as individuals that sometimes it's necessary for us to receive help from someone outside our direct problem. And sometimes we, like the giraffe, can actually be a help to others. So remember that little story, and I'm not quite sure whether you're a giraffe or a monkey, or maybe there's a little bit of both in you, just like there is in me. Good night.